It's becoming a familiar pleasure to be standing in this beautiful theatre, anticipating an interesting evening. Welcome to our third event in Powerful Ideas series. It's a joint project between CCLA Investment Management and my organisation, London Funders. I'm Gaynor Humphreys, Director of London Funders, and let me introduce Michael Quick on, on my left, CCLA's Chief Executive, who will be chairing the discussion after this, this evening's speaker. CCLA is the largest charity fund manager in the UK, on two counts, I understand, both on assets under management and the number of charity clients. London Funders members provided around about 500 million to support London's voluntary and community sector um, last year. So we both have a huge vested interest in civil society and how current social, economic and policy changes are, are affecting voluntary and community sector. It's been a pleasure for London Funders to be in partnership with CCLA in this programme of discussions, looking at some of the ideas powering all kinds of change. We have with us tonight a speaker uh, who's very, very well known and apparently inexhaustible. Um, Andy Sawford is chief executive of the think tank, the LGIU, where he's championed a new balance of power between central and local government to strengthen local democracy and improve public services. The LGIU's impact on public policy debate was recognised a couple of years ago when Andy collected the Think Tank of the Year Award on behalf of his team. He's also a director of the Centre for Public Scrutiny and of the Centre for Public Service Partnerships and chairs Local Energy Limited, a social enterprise supported by the LGIU, which advises organisations to improve energy use and reduce their carbon footprint. I can go on. Um, he volunteers. Um, he appears on television and radio a great deal, um, and writes, and blogs, and tweets. Um, none of that's going to be going on simultaneously this evening, we, we gather. Not from Andy, anyway, but perhaps some colleagues. Um, apparently, his wife and two small children still recognise him. Um, uh. <laughs> Tonight, he addresses the, the statement, uh, localism will lead to the emancipation of local government and give much-needed power back to the people. He'll be considering what localism really means, um, why it seems popular now, who will exercise the power in the new political landscape and the potential consequences. You may have noticed you walked in, um, you know that if you're a regular here, we try to find some appropriate music each, each time. You walked in to Beethoven's Ode to Joy, um, using Schiller's words about the brotherhood of man. I hope we can extend that to, to sisters too this evening. Um, our, our choice um, of this music wasn't just about the sort of community and apple pie implications of that, um, but, but much more. Um, Beethoven imaginatively used voices in a big form um, in, 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 in setting those uh, words to, to music. And as uh, you will know, he was also a revolutionary spirit, so we felt in many ways that's the, the right music for this evening. I'm sure Andy will help us dig deep into the challenges of um, what after my years in Brussels I still think of as subsidiarity, maybe not localism, 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 um, uh, how we can see real change in the face of power politics and who controls the money. Um, so over to Andy and after he has delivered his lecture there'll be uh, a good opportunity for all of us to quiz him and make comments. Thank you. <laughs> 